Well, the governors of Idaho, Washington, Oregon and Montana have agreed to work together to rebuild salmon and steelhead populations in the Columbia River system. Our Lindsay Amundsen has more on how they hope to achieve those goals. Last year was probably one of the poorest years we've had on returning salmon and steelhead. The runs are are improved this year, but they are still not with within the 10 uh, year average. According to the NOAA, Chinook salmon may only have 20 to 30 more years left in our region if something isn't done now. Charles Boyle, Oregon's Columbia Basin Partnership Task Force representative, says the governor's agreement is a step in the right direction. He says, quote, the four states have come together to develop a framework to further engage our federal and tribal partners, as well as other stakeholders, to develop both qualitative and quantitative goals, end quote. The four states task force meets once or twice a week to collaborate on what needs to be done to increase fish populations, with the main problem in Idaho being a predators downstream uh, select about 40% of Idaho's spring, summer Chinook. They eat those on the way back to Idaho. So if we could eliminate some of the pred predation on our spring, summer Chinook, 40% is a lot. And they're also focusing on continuing, need to continue to work on habitat issues, passage improvements, and then uh, predation control. Boyle adds, Quote, with some salmon species in the Columbia already endangered, there is no time to waste, end quote. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6.